The Universe 25 experiment is one of the most terrifying experiments in the history of science, which through the behaviour of a colony of mice is an attempt by scientists to explain human societies. The idea came from the American behavioural researcher Dr. John B. Calhoun, who created an ideal world in which hundreds of mice would live and reproduce. More specifically, Dr. Calhoun described the so-called paradise of mice as a space where rodents had an abundance of food and water, as well as a large living space. In the beginning, he placed four pairs of mice into this idyllic environment, and they soon began to reproduce, their population growing rapidly. However, after 315 days, their reproduction began to decrease significantly. And when the number of rodents reached 600, a hierarchy was formed and the so-called wretches appeared. These larger male rodents began to attack the group, with the result that many less dominant males began to collapse psychologically. As a result, the wretches violently forced themselves on the females, treating them with hostility. And in turn, the females neglected their young to protect themselves and even became aggressive toward their own offspring. As time went on, the females showed more and more aggressive behavior, isolation elements, and lack of reproductive mood. There was a low birth rate and at the same time an increase in mortality in younger rodents. Then a new class of male rodents appeared, the so-called beautiful mice, who simply retreated to the higher nesting boxes, spending all their time eating, sleeping and grooming themselves. They refused to mate with the females or to fight for their space. All they cared about was food, sleep and taking care of their appearance. At one point, beautiful males and isolated females made up the majority of the population and as time went on, juvenile mortality reached 100% and reproduction reached zero. Among the endangered mice, homosexuality was observed, and at the same time, cannibalism increased, despite the fact that there was plenty of food. Two years after the start of the experiment, the last baby of the colony was born, and by 1973, the last mouse in Universe 25 died. Dr. John Calhoun repeated the same experiment 25 more times and each time the result was the same. This scientific work has been used as a model for interpreting social collapse. Look at the striking similarity between Dr. Calhoun's findings and the sinful condition of Sodom as described in the Bible. Behold, this was the sin of your sister Sodom. She and her daughters, the outlying cities, had arrogance, pride, abundant food, and careless ease, idleness. But she did not help the poor and needy. They were haughty and committed repulsive acts before me. Therefore, I removed them when I saw it. Jesus warned that the condition of Sodom before its final destruction will be like the condition of the world before his second coming. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But on the day when Lot went out from Sodom, fire and sulfur rained from heaven and destroyed them all so will it be on the day when the Son of Man is revealed.